The more dramatic the location, the more challenging the design and build can be. These cliff lines have been hammered and sculpted by the most corrosive natural forces on the planet. If you're going to build here, you not only have to contend with briefs, budgets and deadlines, but consult Mother Nature every step of the way. Layla. Welcome. Wow. Now, Horizon is straight. Any house when you walk in and see Horizon, you know, you know you're somewhere special. You do. Yeah. You do. Now, yeah. this house, literally, you are living on the edge. We are. You can't get closer to being on top of the ocean or on a cliff. Yeah. How important is an entry sequence? And I love a big two-story entry. Well, thank you for noticing. I mean, it was one of the features that we just absolutely love mm. the the elevation the skylights obviously we've got a beautiful feature pendant but walking in and just seeing the view go straight through it's just spectacular you tell me what what it is like to wake up here and look out at that i've seen whales i've seen everything this morning bright bright full of sun you see the whales you hear them you hear the ocean it's just magical you feel like you are on a holiday Tell me what you thought of this site when you first came here. What I saw, the potential of the site walking around is there's this amazing vista up the coast, which is probably better than, than the view straight out. Mm. There's an amazing view back over the city, especially at night time and they get the fireworks and everything. There's high level views back down to Bondi. So there's all these different angles that we're trying to capture into the site. And the other thing that, that I realized when I got here was the land actually ended, I think the fence was back here somewhere. And, and I realised looking down over the cliff, because of course you're drawn to the water, it's like, God, there's this huge bulge. If we come down and into the site, we're going to discover all this additional land and we're going to be able to get people right out into the view. And so that was, that was exciting. This is heart-stopping stuff, building yes. so close to such a high cliff. I mean, it's 50, 60 metres high, this cliff. Once you start doing stuff like this, the construction and the engineering and everything goes to a totally different level. Yeah, and especially given that the, there's no balustrade or handrail or staunchings to the pool balustrade structure, it's just the cantilever glass, which took extensive amount of engineering and revisions and there were multiple engineers involved to engineer the glass to be able to comply. What were some of your concerns as a builder when you were talking with Justin? Uh, well, first and foremost was safety. And then the house itself, it's so exposed. Uh, it's sitting there uh, uh, on the cliff, um, we had to make sure that we're building in a way that the, the, the building itself can withstand the, the rain and the sea and the salt and, uh, uh, and the wind. One of the clients was, was more inclined to a traditional American colonial style of architecture and so we ended up with the hybrid architecture that I think we have here which is more detailed and articulate and, and, and lighter than, than a lot of the, our traditional stuff. So obviously at, at this side of the house, uh, this is all about the morning view. Mm. Um, and then we transition through the house as, as we go. Um, we come through into, into midday rooms, we go through into afternoon rooms because, uh, yeah, it's essentially like a sundial, the house. Yeah. Um, you'll see as we come into these spaces. Um, and it's not just about the sun as well. You see we're picking up framed views in different directions as we come through. And, um, and then once we get out this side of the house, I'm starting to see the, the city views and the cityscape. Tell us about the, I mean, it's, it, it's an open plan, but a lot of people now are leaning back to having sort of specific compartmentalised zones within their house. So it's not just one great big voided space. That's what we're doing as well. Mm. You know, we, we wanted it to still feel intimate. Mm. And you need to be able to get away from the weather when it's coming, mm. like yeah. when it's coming properly. And that's the balance that the architecture gives you, isn't it? So it's playing with what Mother Nature can provide, but also providing that sense of protection with, with the building and those variety of spaces, the different ceiling heights, the different room widths. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you've handed over to the interior design to give you some of those beautiful little details and the finishes. Totally. So you've used a pale palette, a lot of whites with highlights of blue. Yes, blues and whites um, and, you know, the limestone flooring. Um, in the bathrooms and in the mud, mud entry area, sandstone out the front, sort of using di different textural elements. Lila had the idea of the wall panelling and 
uh, all the lovely detailing to the, the balustrade as well. And so just working out the panelling, that it was working well with the, the windows and also bringing a, a, an element with the lighting um, to that space with the, the beautiful pendant. Now Anna, this is a special space and one you're quite proud of. Yes, I guess it was a bit different to the rest of the house you know, with the dark moody timbers. And I really love that we sort of introduced the, the sandstone rock wall. It sort of just brings a, an aged look to the space with a feel of a, a French sort of chateau cellar or something. I love building it and seeing families use the home and, and coming back and having the clients welcome in and say, hey, would you like a coffee? Look at our home, it's wonderful and people being proud of it. It's one of the, the nicest jobs I've done, I'd say, or for my time at Horizon. I'm famous for telling people that builders don't build and some people get a shock at that. Building's about management. Management's about planning, organising, directing, controlling. So a lot of the success is built up in the office, effectively, by just putting a good plan together. And the only way you can plan is if you really know what you're doing. It was actually a perfect result because everybody really understood what we were after. They really listened to us and, yeah, they really delivered. How does this place make you feel? Look, it's just so special. It just feels calm. The light, there's no, there's no room that doesn't have this beautiful element of light coming in to just make it feel airy and bright and it, it's just a calming house. From dawn to dusk, this house delivers. Okay, it's got breathtaking views in every direction, but underpinning that is a site with inherent danger and complexity. The resulting house made to look simple and elegant, but that takes passionate professionals who pride themselves on knowing that behind the finishes is a level of construction as solid as a rock.